wine has been associated with celebrations and special moments for centuries. So it's no surprise that our wine lovers are really taking center stage this holiday season. Now, if you have a wine lover and you're wondering what to get them, I'm literally going to take the guesswork out of it. Yes, you want to get them the perfect bottle, but think of that bottle as, you know, a perfect outfit. It's the accessories that's really going to set it off. And Wine World has a fantastic selection of unique and useful accessories. I'm going to speak to an expert about it right here at Wine World Rockley. Come, let's have a chat. I promised you an expert and I am delivering. Winston, what are we getting our wine lovers for the season? Hi Kelly, let's start with a wine opener. Starting at the, at the beginning. beginning. We're starting at the beginning. What is this fanciness? So instead of you having to struggle to open a bottle of wine, we've brought to you what is called the Libra Corkscrew. Okay. Um, this is what it here looks like when you open the box. Very simple um, mechanics. Mm -hmm. Place it over your bottle of wine. Okay. Cork the handle. Pull. Push. That's it. So I will no longer be wringing off my wrist to open it. Correct. No more corks being broken inside. Over the bottle. Is it, pull. This push, is very handsome. Simple though. as that. This is very <laughs> handsome. So, and it will look good on the bar. Correct. This will look good on the bar. Like when you see this, you know this person is a pro. Correct. I saw something through the corner of my eye. Right. Oh yes. Are they related? Yes. It does the same job. This is even more simpler. Uh, what this is is actually an electric corkscrew. So this one, over the bottle of wine, press your button for up, cork this, comes out. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is so <laughs> fancy. This is so fancy. I, I love this though. Yeah, so you try to make the wine and enjoy your wine a lot more simple and a lot more easier. It really does expand the pleasure of, you know, the, the wine pouring and the setting your bar process. This, this is nice. This is nice. So we have our, we have our bottles open. All right. Now I have a little confession, right? I don't know if I should say it for you to hear, but because I'm transparent, I am that person, right? Who at the end of posting has a lot of little bottles of wine and you have little, um, you have some left back. You don't want to throw it away because who throws away good wine, but I can't get the cork back in. Okay. So I put foil or plastic wrap oh at dear. the top. No, no. And I put foil or plastic wrap on the top and I put it back in the fridge and you know we hope for the best and how do we how do we do better in 2024? Okay, we're, we're going to get you set the right way. Oh, thank you. What we have here is a wine saver um, toolkit. Okay. So what this has is actually a pump and a stopper. A pump? A pump and a stopper because one of the key things that actually ruins your wine is actually the air, the oxygen is left within, uh, in contact with the wine. Mm -hmm. So this, what it does is actually, once you place it over the, the stopper here, over the bottle, uh -huh. you pump all that excess oxygen out of the bottle. Oh! Correct. So you don't have to worry about your wine. Your wine actually lasts a lot longer than your My MacGyver <laughs> foil. That was way more sophisticated <laughs> an answer than I was banging for. Okay. So for all of you who are a bit like me, you know, because there are only probably like lots of us who don't finish our wine, we have a product for you, okay? And I can tell you, anybody would make use of this during the holiday season, actually year round. I'll just take this with me today, okay? Because no. shame now, now that you've told me that. <laughs> I, 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 know, no, I know about these though, because my mommy has these. So for, and I can talk about this. So for those of us, because we know we have our beautiful glass sets that we have gotten from Wine World, and if everybody's glass is looking the same, you can have the markers on your glass so that we do not mix up our glasses. Correct. Did I get that correct? Correct. See, I'm not <laughs> so bad. Thank you. What else do we have? This is another wine saver as well too, okay. same with the other one. However, this one actually has a pour included with it. So. The previous one I showed you, okay. you actually have to take off the stopper and then you insert the pour into it. Okay. This one, it has everything in one set. All right. So you so don't have to, once that cork is on there, you just take it off, pour your wine, seal it back again. So you go multiple times. Wow. Okay. So again, a much more thorough answer than I expected, but then that's what I expect of Wine World because they are the experts. So to make sure that we do not ruin what is left of our wine, we are going to remove the air. Correct with our pump and then we're going to put on our stoppers to seal it and this one has a, um, a cork in the pourer Correct. so, so that you can just remove that 
right? Because it's 2023, right? And this is how we're rolling. What other beautiful things do you have here for me? Uh, behind here, we also have a decanter, which is this one here. This is beautiful. Now, I learned a little bit about decanters recently, but tell me, what is a decanter? So the decanter acts, uh, serves two purposes. Okay. Um, one is actually, remember before I told you with the, when you suffer, that yes. the oxygen mm -hmm. actually affects the wine. Okay. So it actually does it in two ways. It actually improves it. Okay. And it actually then, after a period of time, then it actually goes to deteriorate it. Okay. So what the decanter does actually is it helps with the improvement of the wine. Okay. So for the older cell wines, then you pour into the decanter mm -hmm. and then just give it a little swirl and the excess air and it actually mixes with the wine and then allows for, you get more flavorful and allow for all the, the, flavors, the flavors to expand okay. and come out a bit more. Okay. And that's what the other purpose is, it actually is a very nice centerpiece. I was just going to say, <laughs> you know, and even if you did not know what it was for, this is a moment though, mm -hmm. this will look great on anybody's table. Sure. And, I, and I'm so happy you explained it to me because when I do visit a wine lover's home, they usually have two or three, mm -hmm. right? And now that I'm familiar with the Speak Low brand, mm -hmm. I realize where they're getting them from. <laughs> I see we have some glassware here. Um, right behind you, if I can snag this one. Got it. This looks like something we all need. You want to tell me a bit about what I'm looking at well, here? Well, this is from the same Speak Low um, line, mm -hmm. and this is more of an all-purpose glass. Okay. So besides serving your wine and stuff like that, you can use it for your water glass. Mm -hmm. If someone may probably want to have a little juice, you can use it for that. If you okay. want to use it for your desserts, you can okay. use it for that. But it's just a more or less an all-purpose glass. Some people also use it for wine as well too. I think this is a lovely hostess gift. So, sure. yeah. so if you're going to someone's home for the season, and chances are you, they may already have a few bottles. People who entertain a lot tend to buy their wine in bulk from Wine World. I was here early and people are like leaving with boxes of things because they're prepared. I don't know if they have enough glasses though. So you're pretty safe making sure Correct. that you bring some beautiful glassware which they may enjoy at the event they're hosting you at, but they enjoy them all year long. I quite like these. I could put this under my tree. I'm seeing behind you, we also have ice buckets. I'm seeing champagne flutes. Can you tell me a little bit about this? I, I think I know the answer, but your answers are so much better than anything <laughs> I'm coming up with. Does the shape of the glass matter? Yes, it does. Tell me why. Okay, with champagne, if you open a bottle of champagne, it has all the bubbles, the fizz and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And this particular glass, it actually channels the flavors within the mm -hmm. champagne or the okay. sparkling wine towards the palate, the mm -hmm. bucket. So that's why the shape of this as opposed to a more Open, open shape then okay. which releases all the gas and all the flavors and you don't actually get to enjoy it as much so if i brought this as a christmas gift or a hostess gift I, i'd be in the good books i would be in the good books i would get invite back yes you should probably walk a bottle of sparkling wine as well too just because we want to be invited to things again <laughs> correct <next year. laughs> we want to be invited to things don't just again come with the glasses, next year yeah. don't, don't just come with the glasses but what i can tell you um i had an opportunity to look and feel and touch the glassware it really does feel different in your hand. The glasses that I'm getting at Wine World, they're giving yeah, rich. It, it, it does they're giving make sense rich. to have a nice, they're a giving nice glass, rich. nice steel glass, as opposed to the very thick um, glasses you have. This would be a red wine? This is a red wine. Um, this is for Burgundy. Okay. Uh, with this one, hence mm -hmm. this is, as I said, the bigger bowl. So it, mm -hmm. the bigger bowl here allows for air to mix with the wine right. a bit more. Okay. Um, releases those flavors. But Burgundy wine is said to be very, um, very light style wines. So with this one here, it gives a bit more character to the wine and then allow you to enjoy the flavors in regards to what the wine maker actually intended for that particular wine. Okay then, see, that's why you need <laughs> to talk to an expert. And the great thing is that you can also talk to an expert. Anytime you go into a wine world store, I can promise you, the person who you will be speaking with not just knows about wine, but they also know about the accessories that they have in store. And there are a lot of other things in store. I mean, yes, you know, we have wines, we have spirits, but there are also a lot of little nibbles and chocolates and things for canapes and charcuterie boards. So you can have a full entertaining experience, right? And it will start right here at Wine World. We're gonna get some more things together for you and be right back. It would not be a Wine World experience unless we were having something in a glass and it wouldn't be me unless we were putting something in the glass. It's a time for favorites. 
I want you to share with me some of your favorites because I know people come to Wine World for the familiar, but they also come to learn about something new. And you have already introduced me to three that I was not that familiar with. I'm presently getting familiar. What do we have here? Yes, Kelly. So what we have here is a uh, Chardonnay. This is Stag's Leap Chardonnay okay. out of the USA. Mm -hmm. uh, for me personally, I like, I like Chardonnays. Okay. So I like something, I like the oak, I like the peach notes coming out, those stone fruits, which is what you're going to have in this particular Chardonnay. So I ask this question off camera, and I know this is for connoisseurs, right? But for those of us who are a little earlier in our wine journey, Chardonnays are great. Chardonnay's the grape. Yes. Okay, you see how softly <laughs> you see how softly I said that, right? The Chardonnay's the grape. Yeah. Okay, so when I say I like a Chardonnay, it's really the grape that goes into making the wine that I am referring to. Yes, for the most part, because Chardonnay, remember to you, this particular Chardonnay is oaky and, mm -hmm. and that's why like for this particular one. Okay. You can also get a Chardonnay from like from France. Okay. And you'll actually consider that one depending on the region, you actually mm -hmm. consider that to be Chablis. So if you hear from region from France and you hear mm -hmm. Chablis, that is equivalent to a Chardonnay that you see from like the USA or from Argentina and stuff like that. I'm and the taste profile something. is a little different. So the French ones tend to be a bit more fresh and okay. fruity and vibrant, whereby the USA ones they tend to be a bit more oaky and a little robust and stuff like that. So. You always learn something out when you work. You always learn something. What else do we have here? Moving on from the Chardonnay, I my next favorite wine is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. And I like my cabs to be rich and strong as well too. So yes. this is actually a Jailor. Okay. And this okay. is from the USA again. Mm -hmm. And this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. And for me, I like cabs. I like the richness. I like the fruit content. Okay. I like the structure, the body. And this particular wine has it all. Okay. So that's why I chose this particular one as my other go to wine. That's your other go to. That's my other go to. So we've learned how to open, we're pouring, we're storing correctly, and we're now giving a bottle that we could give a little history about. Correct. We're so classy. <laughs> and number three. Uh, my number three, um, this is Chateau Tessier. Okay. This is French. Okay. And uh, this is. Sounds French. Yeah, French. <laughs> <laughs> this is from the Saint Emilion region. Saint -Emilion. So we will have had a <laughs> Charnay. Okay. We will have had a Cabernet Sauvignon. Now this is a blend, but predominantly Merlot. Okay. So you go. I'm going to ask again. For those of us who are not connoisseurs, mm -hmm. Merlot is great. Merlot is great. You see how quietly I'm asking, right? <laughs> Merlot is great. Okay. So this particular one, you actually consider you call it a Bordeaux style. Okay. So when you hear the word Bordeaux, you're thinking French. Mm -hmm. You're thinking blend. Okay. And it depends on which side of the, the river it's from. Mm -hmm. Then it will be predominantly a Cabernet Sauvignon or predominantly a Merlot. This particular one is predominantly a Merlot. I feel like I'm getting a little history lesson in a bottle. <laughs> it literally <laughs> that's, feels... That's what it is, no, that's, that's it what really, it is, yeah. It really is. It's and more just drinking the wine. It, it, the wines have a, a culture and a history and stuff like that, which you should learn to appreciate as well, too. The truth is, I really do have to thank the team at Wine World, not just from this series that we're doing, but I follow you guys on Instagram and on Facebook, and I sign up for the newsletter. And I always find that they're so thoughtfully done and like a topic is always so thorough without being overwhelming you know so it's like okay we're going to discuss um, wine glasses and they're going to break down the types of wine glasses and you really do get a better appreciation for the experience of drinking wine or gifting wine or choosing a bottle so when it comes down to speak about things like accessories it's like yes I totally need a vacuum to suck the air out of the bottle so I can store it properly Correct. What are we? If it's 2023, we're doing better next year. Thank you so much. That's the great thing about Wine World. You don't just get a great bottle of wine. You get an experience, you get an education, and you learn about different ways to enhance that experience. I've learned a bit about the wine journey uh, by just following them on social media at Wine World Inc. I'd encourage you to do that soon and sign up for their newsletter. It's always very interesting and it's helped me to be a more confident wine drinker but also to choose better and I think we all want to be able to be a little more confident in choosing our gifts this holiday season. If you can't make it to store to speak to one of their experts make sure you go and visit them on their website. You will find their holiday gift guide there and everything that you see in store is right at your fingertips and if you spend $250 or more they'll deliver it to you free of cost island-wide. So we'll see you soon.